Uh, well, we can get you another one. If you want. I mean, I'm not dangerous. Anyway, we can always keep it locked. Listen, while you're here, could you translate page 138 and 139? Yes, of course. Okay, thanks. And can you not smoke here because the, s the smell will come through? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, thanks. See you later. See you. Chair. Chair. Don't think. Just respond. Chair. Table. Soft. Warm. Lake. Water. Snow. Purity. Dog. Cat. <laughs> you know, you look like a wild cat sometimes, Dr. Yule. Russia. Home. Didn't know this could be so much fun. Just one word, please. French. Wife. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if your wife ran off with a Frenchman? <laughs> one word. Sabina. Dies. Father. Punishment. Sister. Cemetery. Must be so cold in there. to beat us when we were naughty. Go on, father. One must be all right. Make the effort. Father. What did I tell you anything about myself? You never tell me anything about yourself! right to bring the dead back to life. Look me in the eye, Dr. Young! <laughs> She ran away. Darling, come back to bed. It's only a dream. There she is, sleeping peacefully. The translation you wanted. Oh, thanks. Why are you so interested in this Sabina Spielrein? In German, Spielrein means fair play. So? History has forgotten her, and that's not fair. Yes, but why is it so important to you? 
I suppose, in a way. That's what I'd like to be. A woman who plays fair. We can't go on feeding you this way. Your veins can't stand it. It's gone on long enough. Do you want them to sack me? Because that's what'll happen. Why should they blame you? They see your death as proof of my failure. The failure of my method. I don't want you to suffer because of me. somewhere a little more cheerful for our session today. So why don't you get dressed and come with me? Two more chocolates and some cake and pastries, please. Yes. The other day you complained that I never told you anything about myself. Apart from my wife, no one has ever seen this. I keep a diary too. I take it everywhere with me. The first girl I was ever attracted to was young, Jewish. She had a long dark braid that hung down over her shoulder. I'm Jewish too, you know. I know. You know, I feel it's fate that my first patient should be. Do you believe in premonitions, Doctor? Oh, I don't believe. I know. I wrote my doctoral thesis on so-called occult phenomena. Do you remember the other day when we were in the garden? I was telling Did you... Did I tell you my grandfather was a rabbi? He was an expert on the Kabbalah. He foretold the exact hour and day of his death. Well, my grandfather had a special armchair set aside for his dead wife. And every day he spent at least an hour talking to a spirit. Really? care about me, Doctor? If I didn't, I couldn't treat you. No, I mean, do you care about me from head to toe? From head to toe? But do you love me, Doctor? All clinical cases, in one way or another, involve an element of love. Can I tell you one of my secrets, then? Sometimes, when I'm alone, myself. I'm terribly ashamed. There's really no reason to be. Many people do. You too. <clears throat> Certainly. Me too. Sometimes. No, no, I had to go and see a colleague about a case. He wants my advice on a patient of his.
about your Russian girl? How's the treatment going? Much better. She's finally started to eat. It just occurred to me that we never buy any cakes. And with all the cake shops, there are in Zurich. And anyway, I'm pregnant. And we never indulge. second floor. So much for the Jung method. service once a year. Why did you try to kill yourself? One well, here loves me. From now on, I and I alone will look after you. Swear to me. I swear. And let go of me. Keeper of your soul. 